Okay, we are moving on to my crime stories of the day. And I will cover these three stories. Mother stills to feed baby. A furloughed worker commits burglary to scalp goods and cigarettes and bribery. All right, stay with me and let's get into this. First story of the day for crime. Mother says she stole to feed hungry baby. This was in the Bangkok, which is Thailand newspaper. And well, we got the picture of it. I don't know. We'll see. A woman found out of work by the virus crisis. Well, a woman forced out of work by the virus crisis had been arrested and charged with stealing money, she said. She desperately needed to feed her hungry baby. Van Ped police approached her, she's a 25, at her rental room in Mutong District on Wednesday and charged her with theft of 1,000 baht, baht is the, the Thailand money, on Sunday. Mrs. Opera Porn told investigators she was a hairdresser and was unemployed because the beauty salon was closed by the virus pandemic, according to the PLLC colonel. Okay, that's what she says. But uh, Mr. Mrs. Apricochi said she took her 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 old baby uh, with her on a motorcycle to buy milk on Sunday. She had only 120 baht left. She told police she saw a wallet in a small compartment at the front of a motorcycle parked outside the shop and she stole it because she was desperate for money to feed her child. Miss Apropochi said she kept only the money and then tossed the wallet into an, uh, a nearby garbage bin. So how can I feel sorry for her if, if she threw the wallet away? The, the owner of the motorcycle later registered a complaint at the Bomb Pet Police Station. A surveillance camera recorded Miss Apropochi, her motorcycle, and registration plate. Police went to the registered address and found found it parked outside her room. All right, so that's the end. So my here's my question for you: Would you have give, been okay with it if she kept your wallet, but, but maybe and be, give you back your remaining money, or if she had the receipt? Prove what she bought and then gave you the back the rest of the money or more importantly have you ever stolen anything and why and what was the repercussion you know I won't say I ever stole something but one time I came across a, um, a, a pricing scanner like discounts the pricing scanner and I'd like mark down everything that but at least chocolate roses to like 20 cents and um, I bought them all, and nothing happened. But I, I just want to know about you. Have you stole? Have you stolen something? Why? And what was the outcome? Please leave your comments below. And let's move on to the next story. D Diza Vita, a, a caretaker, allegedly robbed three stores after being furloughed due to the virus outbreak. Furloughed means they let you go from work. You're not fired, but you're not being paid either. So here we go. A 39-year-old man has been arrested for allegedly robbing three stores in the dispenser this week. Authorities said the suspect stole a number of items to resell after he was furloughed due to the virus outbreak and this takes place in Indonesia. He used to be a villa caretaker, but he had been furloughed for a while, about a month. He is not currently working and has no income. That is when he got the idea to commit robbery. I, Nogokong, 
reporter who heads the East Disbarred Police Department. Okay. The man identified by his initials I Pal allegedly confessed after being shown a CCTV recordings of his crime. Police said that the, the he sold the items he stole in his own mini market, also located in the same city. Oh, lovely. I Pal reported reportedly attempted to fight the police and evade arrest. That's not good. And he was shot in the leg as a result. Police managed to seize a number of items as evidence, including cigarettes and four stacks of rice, but are still looking for a crowbar that suspect allegedly used to pry open the doors. He was arrested on Monday after police followed the trial well, trail of the white car he'd driven for robbing the stores, which was reported rented for, from a car rental service in the area. Oh, that's nice. You know, hey, what, can you tell me your car's history? Oh, this car was used in a robbery. I pal was charged with Article 363 of the Criminal Code of, on Robbery which carries a maximum sentence of seven years in prison. All right. So last part. More than 52,000 former workers have been forlowed in Bali since the outbreak, with another 1,200 laid off, according to the latest officials. Date from April 17th, as officials expect the numbers to continue to rise. Okay. So this is my, well, scalping. Has anybody... Have you ever scalped something? By the way, scalp means like you buy a concert ticket for $100. Let's say I buy a concert ticket for BTS concert. And then I go stand outside the concert and I see you. You have no ticket and I tell you, okay, give me $200 and I will let you have my ticket. That's called scalping. Have you ever scalped anything or, or anything that you bought but then sold later for a much higher price that was a high-end item in need or have you ever bought anything that somebody scalped to sell you you know sometimes people would um like they would buy uh, con gaming consoles or other supplies like playstation 2s i think back in the day they were sold out around christmas time and every mom and dad wanted to get a playstation for the kid so people would put them on eBay for double or triple the price because they would scalp them. But again, what about you? Have you ever done that? Yes, no? Leave your comments below. And what do you think about people that scalp? Now, our last article of the day for um, crime. Duo in triple trouble for allegedly smuggling bribery and violating the MCO. So smuggling means bringing in illegal products or moving illegal products. Bribery means I look the other way for money. And MCO was the mandatory control lockdown. So those are the three things. So let's read this. Kula Lapoa, two foreigners are, oh, foreigners on top of that. This was in Malaysia. Two foreigners are facing a triad of charges after they were caught for allegedly trying to smuggle contraband cigarettes, bribe policemen, and breaching the movement control order. The two Pakistans, aged 35 and 45, were arrested by policemen after they allegedly offered them a 7000 which is $2,300, bribe at the Patron Road in Patron area in Pyeongtok District near here on Tuesday. The police commissioner said that two suspects were in a car, were stopped for, stopped for a routine police check, and 500 cartons of cigarettes were found inside the vehicle. Now, some countries are very strict on smoking well, cigarettes and alcohol. It's kind of strange. Like America, we had them all over. But as I traveled around the world, you rarely, some places you rarely see any of it. 
we believe that the cigarettes were smuggled and they were distributing distributing it around the area. He s said, adding that it was an an offense was under the Customs Act of 1967, evading duties. Yeah, they probably imported the cigarettes and didn't pay tax on them. Kind of like Al Capone. However, as police were investigating the duo, one of them took out 7,000 Malaysian ruples as an in document to the policemen to not take action against them. DMC Mazi said they were taken into the police district station for further questioning. Now, it's kind of interesting because in America, we would automatically would say that bribery is wrong. On the other hand, in a lot of places like uh, Vietnam, it's kind of culture. Not big crimes, but small crimes. Hey, you're speeding. Okay, here, here's, a, here's $50. Okay. Yeah. So, different cultures, I guess. He added that apart from the contraband cigarettes, police also seized 37000 in cash. Wow, they were kind of rich. 7000 I want all that. Um, the police were will be investigating the cigarette smuggling while the the attempted bribe will be referred to the Malaysian Anti Corruption Commission here on to he said on Tuesday night. All right. So what do you think? Have have you ever been have you ever been bribed to do something and did you follow through with that bribe? Or have you ever given a bribe to somebody so they can look the other way? Please leave your comments below on one way or the other. I would really like to know. Like, comment, or su and subscribe. Hi. The small clip you saw was brought to you by Loyal World News. If you like what you saw, you should subscribe and, tune and look up my daily Loyal World News report for its full version. If you don't want to watch it on YouTube, prefer to be on the road, I also have a podcast in, in every full-length video I put up.